Hey there guys, and welcome back to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. The museum heist continues and oh crap, Nate's gonna fall off the roof. Gotcha! Pull me up! You put on weight, mate! Pull me up! Yeah. Uh. Oh shit, that was close. Alright, no more donuts for you. Oh come on, Nate's not that fat. I mean, if Nate's fat, then... I mean, he just looks like a regular... Like a fit human being to me. I mean, if he wasn't fit, he wouldn't be able to do all the crazy climbing stuff. Uh, where do we need to go now? Yeah. You're up. I'm up to what? You're up. That? Oh, well, there was a rope there. Couldn't really see it because of the darkness. Let me need to upgrade like my computer's brightness settings or something. All right. Uh, do we just go up, or... Yeah, I guess we do. Yes. Come on, get up there. There's a guy above you, there's a guy above you. Oh crap, can't let him spot me. Oh, ledge takedown. Whoa! There's a guy below you, there's a guy below you. <laughs> oh, Harry, you're so witty. Hey, a trophy, bare knuckle brawler. I guess we took out... A lot of people using fisticuffs or something. Alright, so... Hmm. That there looks like a ladder. Obvious hint is obvious. Come on, Harry. I'll lead the way, fine. Yeah, great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. Oh, Nate lives in Istanbul. Didn't know that. But quite honestly, who the hell wants to live in Istanbul? I mean, there are better places to live. Crap, take him out. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. I saw him already and took him out before you even said that. Alright, moving on. Nearly there. Yeah, but why are the lights still on? Chloe will take care of it, don't worry. She'd better, otherwise this heist is gonna be a freaking disaster. I mean, things haven't exactly been... Well... Most of it's gone somewhat according to plan. Although we did have to resort to our backup plan of tranquilizer guns. Okay, guard, pop him in the back. And let him take a nice nap. No sleeping on the job. Shit. We can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell's she doing? Come on, Chloe. <laughs> That's my girl. Alright, Chloe did her part, now it's up to us. Just sneak in there. Love how there's no guards here. Guess they didn't expect people to get this far. And look at all the, like, the door, isn't that like the Jewish star symbol or something? Don't know what it's called, just like on the, I the flag of Israel and all that stuff. I think you also saw it on South Park once. Okay, Harry, drop the rope in there. And let's go look for the treasure. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off. We so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. That's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? And? Whoa. 
Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem... Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Oh, shit. You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Harry, you backstabbing son of a bitch. Well, that sucks. Now we're gonna have to fight off the entire security guard force who have freaking laser sighted. Oh, treasure. I mean, hey, we're here anyway, why not steal what we can? An antique pipe. Pretty sure Nate's not a smoker, but who knows, it might be worth some money. Alright, make a run for it. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Dodge the freaking laser sights. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, now I'm screwed. Crap, can't go out that way. I'll just rush down the stairs. Right. Think, think. Hey, think. Is there any way out of here? Oh, an open window. How convenient. Alright. Back in the courtyard. Oh, a manhole. This is our way out. Escape through the sewers. Alright. There we go. Now make a run for it. Are they still on my tail? Jeez. Ah, uh, crap, crap, crap. How do we get out of this? Yeah, Nate, I'm wondering the same damn thing. Oh, a ladder. This will hopefully lead us to freedom. Or at least prevent us from being captured. So maybe Chloe's waiting there? Or is she in with Harry? I don't know. All right, freedom, I hope. All right, let's go. Ah, crap. All right, the gig's up. We're going to jail. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey. Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but... Hey. Ah. Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, uh... A friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. 
Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first yeah, place, wait a I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not gonna listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job from someone they know and trust oh okay i see where this is going I just need a diversion you give me five minutes in that tent that's all it'll take really five minutes well that's great i won't even have to get my top off chloe i was thinking more like an explosion or that can be arranged are you in oh hell yes i was in before you were Chloe, you're reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. Alright, adventuring in the jungle with Sully by my side. Doesn't get any better than this. Okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. The first one should be right ahead of you. Here it is. I also left the detonator for you. Uh-huh. There we are. Alright. First one set. Don't touch the button. This one? <laughs> Once you've set all the charges, just hit the detonator and it's showtime. <laughs> They'll never know what I'm Just be careful. Zarovich has got his men posted all around the perimeter. Of course he has. It's never going to be easy. That's like rule number one of adventure games slash movies slash everything of course there's gonna be patrols <sighs> I'm sweating like a hooker in church you brought a hooker to church why not oh Sully you're so silly what was he doing with the hooker anyway I mean I know what a hooker's for but why'd Sully get one okay which guys and how do we take him out quietly are we gonna have to do frickin' stealth again? And eh, we'll just gun him down. Oh, come on, Sully, don't whine. You're the one who didn't bring any suppressors. Like, why do they never bring suppressors? That would make it so much easier. But no, they want to just shoot everyone and get in gunfights and do all kinds of crazy adventurous things. Because it's in their blood. It's adventure time. That's just how Nate rolls. Alright, let's make a move on. There's one. And one up there on the ledge, I think. What's that? No, that's some kind of... Oh, that was a guy. Well, he's dead now, so it doesn't really matter. There's one and another one. 
I do notice these enemies die a lot easier than the ones in the first game. So that's a big plus. Looks like we can swing across there. <laughs> Maybe you can. Alright, hold on, Grandpa. See if I can find another way up. Yeah. Let's uh, go and do that. I mean, what, he can't climb this? Okay, I can see uh, swinging on that pole. I would probably not be able to do that either. So I can see where Sully's coming from. And luckily no more, like, balancing the controller for balance puzzle thing. I hated that in the first game. Luckily they got rid of that in this one. Alright, Sully, look down below. Here comes a big ass boulder. Whoa, was he like standing right there? Damn, he got lucky. Anyways, come on, Sully, get up here. We need to continue exploring the jungle, which we will do in the next part of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later.